Hey everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. I'm going to wait for my friends to get here and wait for me to show up on my Facebook. Yes, I am, because there's Betty. Hey, Betty. And Nancy from South Arkansas. Hey, Tarita. Robin, y'all come on in. Everybody's getting here now. Hey, Grace. I'm good. How are you doing? Hey, Laurie. How, what's been going on today? Y'all having a good day? Good Tuesday? It's hot, hot, hot here. Hey, Mayor. I've got my cold coffee and my worker bee mug. Look at the size of that mug. Found two of these at Southern Vintage. One says worker bee and one says buzz off. <laughs> I love them. Hey, Brenda. It's a huge mug, Lori. <laughs> hey, Marjorie. Betty has already tossed the taters. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Yeah, I'm channeling Bob Ross today. I've been doing some painting. Hey, Rose and Marie. We got uh, 29 people here. There's Patricia. I just sent you that link, Patricia. Hey, Gail. Aurelia's here. Good afternoon. Oh, you're so sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What are your paints in? Hey, uh, Sandy, back here. Uh, those are, I think I've got the link. Uh, pin to the top of my page because that's my most frequently asked question is what my paints are in and those are Paint spinner caddies at Michaels and I love them and I'm up to How many do I have one two three four five six yeah, I've got six and I, I still need more Cuz you know I got paint. I've been painting this week y'all saw and uh yeah, I'm trying a rooster today, y'all. Hope I'll get to show it to you tonight. It's about done. Hey, Carolyn. Yeah, pro yeah, Robin. You know, but every day's the same around here. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, Sherry and Carol. I've got all my bowls of water ready. We're gonna try to. There's my nephew Michael again. What am I about to make? I am about, it's going to be so interesting, Michael. You're going to love it. <laughs> we are going to dye our solo wood flowers because, let me show you all the colors that I got. They got here this morning. Um, oh, thanks, Mayor. Yeah, it's just wonderful. Uh, Dara wants my shirt. Is Dara on here? I <laughs> uh, no, my dad uh, um, always watched Bob Ross. And um, he would, it was in the early days of VCRs, and he would record them and watch them. My dad loved to paint, and he'd paint along with him. Hey, Pat, you have four of the paint spinners? Yeah, I need to get another one. Hello, Darlene. Um, he was just so relaxing to watch paint. So, anyway, let me show you my, the, my dyes that I got. So I got the aqua, because it's... I'm hoping it comes out more of a teal than it looks really blue in here. So we're gonna see, we're gonna try it because my accent color in my house, or one of them is teal. That's the one I have the most of. And I have a lot of grays, so I got gray. It's actually concrete is what it's called. Had to have the basil. I love that green color and coral. That's another accent color I absolutely love. She had Bob Ross. Oh, I miss Dara. I haven't gotten to see her lately. Um, a cutout. She had a cutout of Bob. <laughs> She's so funny. Hey, Joyce. Um, yeah, I, all day long yesterday, I've been painting like a mad woman, trying to hopefully restock my locations. And so I had my head down really painting and didn't get to see any of my crafting buddies yesterday so I've got some making up to do I also ordered their uh, softener to try for y'all too 
you know, we tried the glycerin the other day. So let me grab, uh, put them right here. The flowers that I've already dipped in the glycerin. So they feel so soft. They, when you get the solar flowers though, they do feel soft and you think, well, they don't need anything, but over time they'll crack. So softener, glycerin or their softener, which we did, you can watch that video from last week. Uh, isn't it Leanne? <laughs> I was showing them that in the beginning. Oh, I forgot to show you this one. Butterscotch. Isn't that pretty? I love that. It's a really nice fall color. This is my worker bee mug that I got at Southern Vintage. And it's got my cold coffee in it this afternoon. Uh, teal has a green tone and turquoise has the blue tone. This one is called Aqua. So it may lean toward blue more than the green. We'll see, but it'll surely it'll be pretty. So I'm gonna pull out some of these flowers and we're gonna get to playing with them and seeing how they look with this dye. I've been doing a little research for y'all and for me to kind of see how to do it. Um, making sure I'm not missing the comments. I've got three bowls of water out here to play with. Hey, Debbie. I'm going to go on and use some gloves just because um, I'm going to try several different colors and I, you know, so we'll see how this goes. Hello, artists. I thought they were pretty. I tried not to go overboard, you know, because I know you can also, um, you can dye the flowers with acrylic paints like we sh I showed you the other day. You can mix half and half water and acrylic paint. Uh, from what I've heard, you take a bottle like this and um, a, you know, a bowl that's deep enough to dunk the whole flower in, and you put about half of the bottle uh, this size. This is the um, two ounce bottle of paint. So it would take about half a bottle of paint and I would think that is going to uh, dye a whole lot of flowers. We'll see. Thank you for the stars, Judy. Hey, Carrie. How's my sweet friend today? Let's see. Can I scroll? With, yes, I can. Are the paint storage containers behind you on Amazon? Actually, they're not, Karen. Um, I got them at Michael's. You can order them online or get them in the store. But the, I do have the link just to Michael's. Uh, on pinned in the in all those links at the top of my page uh, that I pinned to the top of the page we've got the link to these paint storage caddies um, is from Michaels hey Penny okay which one do we want to start with let's try the the uh, aqua to see you know we'll see what happens so I chose to use hot water now it's probably lukewarm now because i've had it sitting here for about 15 minutes it's warm um hot water is supposed to give you more vibrant colors cool water softer colors hey diane uh hey heather how do you keep paint long or to last i haven't really had any trouble with that but i do know with acrylics um you can try adding just a little bit of hot water into your bottle of paint and shake it. I go through paint faster than, you know, it, it, I use it up, so I don't have that problem. Thank you, Sherry, thank you so much. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and die, you know, I'm not a bride that's dying all of her wedding bouquet and her florals for her, you know, whole wedding so I'm I want to do this on smaller scale uh, thank you Betty you got to it too what I heard what I read it's a two to one ratio um, with this die I'm just gonna we're gonna we're gonna play this is experimentation today not necessarily a tutorial we're gonna see together what happens I tend to go for the softer colors I don't really uh, use a lot of real vibrant colors in my home. Um, not that all these will be for me and my home decor. 
I'll have these pieces online in my booth and things like that. So anyway, I hope it'll be pretty. We're going to see. So I'm going to start slow. We can always add more if it's just too light, but we're just going to try. Okay, so it's very thick. And I got, uh, because I bought a hundred flowers and I still had, still have a lot that Artis and Julie sent me. Um, I didn't, I, I went on and got the four ounce size and they were, it was like 60% off. So I took advantage of that. Now they said, oh, that's a pretty color. I think it's gonna be a little on the blue side for um, my house, but we'll see. We'll see how it comes out. I hope that sound doesn't bother y'all. It helps if they are, oh, add a couple of drops. Of, okay, good, yeah. So start up with a fork. From what I heard, if you're using acrylic paint, you really wanna stir really well because it's gonna um, sink to the bottom. Let's start with this one. We're just gonna go dunking. Add a drop or two of green. Oh, look at you, Betty. Let's try it. I like to experiment with y'all because you always have great ideas. So let's put just a little bit of green in it and see what happens. Can't hurt, right? Just a smidge. Let's see what happens. You're so smart, Betty. Y'all see that? <laughs> That's not bothering y'all? Okay, good. You have the radio on, so I can't hear your background noise. <laughs> good. That's okay, Brenda. We're just getting started. We're going to dye some flowers. I think that's doing the trick. It's looking a little more tealish instead of baby blue now, which I love. Okay, here we go. Let's dunk this flower. Now, these are ones I have already softened. Oh, that's pretty. And we're just going to, I'm going to pull these tighter petals apart so that I can get way down in there. I'm just going to try to be gentle with it. I don't want to get too... These these seem so delicate to me. You see my dogs? They're, yeah. They're just doing their thing all in here with me. Randy will come out and put some noise on his computer in a few. That'll be dueling sounds in here. Yeah, I know all about that around here. I do. Now let's dip let me show y'all. So I'm just gently pulling these petals apart and see how you can see the light. Don't look, I'm dripping on my computer. Help me. Um, you can see that it didn't get down where it was. Uh, they were real tightly squeezed together. So I'm gonna dip that again. Hey, Sherry. Thank you, Vicki. Oh, did you, Sherry? I hope y'all love them as much as I do. I really love these things. And I've got a, I've, I wanna show y'all a project I'm about to do for my new, it's either gonna go in my new bedroom or bathroom. Now, and the tutorials I watched said you just keep dipping them until it's the color you want it to be or vibrant as you want it to be. And like I said, I'm not going for terribly vibrant here because I like the softer colors. Yeah, I'm so glad I put some green in there, thanks to Betty. You did, Linda? Oh, good. It, there's so much you can do with these. Okay, can y'all see that? Look at that pretty color. Oh, I really like that color. And these are, you know, I did not order all the colors that they have obviously, but they've got some gorgeous colors, and um, they've got some sets of colors, too, that you can, or, but I just chose to do individual, individual colors that I thought I would like to have. It's mine, too, Sherry. I love this color, so I can do several of these. 
but I'm gonna do other colors for y'all today too because we want to see how these how they look over this I just added a couple of what are you over what Robin I missed that okay now I've just got my little um, Dollar Tree cookie sheet over here with paper towels over the top we're just gonna let these dry um, when we get a cookie sheet full Oh, love this. Oh, good. Good. It was scared. Uh, it scared me. I don't know if you were, you were so over this. Um, it's so warm and uh, sunny today. I'll be able to set this cookie sheet out in, in the sunshine and they'll dry right up. I do too, Mare. Oh, I do too. That's these are, these are the ones I hope to use on some of my projects for my house. Um, these pretty the the gray and the teal I might I'm thinking I might add that butterscotch in to my uh, decor for fall this year I don't know autocorrect it hates me there's another pretty one I'm gonna let it drip here just a second and then I'm gonna hold it uh-oh did I freeze or is it just on my laptop? <laughs> there we go. Oh, that is beautiful. Beautiful. And so you can see that when it's, once you um, dip them, you can manipulate these petals to get down further down inside. But I'm going to tell y'all, I like, I like that cream showing through too. So I'm calling that one done. It blipped, but okay, now good. All right, number three. And then we're gonna get into some other, we're gonna try some other colors because I've got three bowls out that we can try. Oh, this is a pretty rose. Oh, and I'll tell you this, y'all probably, a lot of y'all already probably know this because you've been working with these a lot longer than me, but, um, did you know that you can take some of your essential oils and put a drop right at the base, bottom of the flower, and just let it sit upside down, and because they're porous, it will seep through the flower, and you can use these as um, like a diffuser in your home. So, not really a diffuser, but you know, a smell pretty. You could put a bouquet of these in your bathroom, would that be? Plus, it would be a pretty smelling bouquet. Okay. I like this. This is, this is, I, I gotta be honest with y'all. I, I love to paint, but I don't, you know, things like walls and furniture and sitting here painting every petal of a flower is not necessarily my jam. I get very impatient. This dip dyeing is the way to go for me. Potpourri, absolutely, yeah. Oh, I'll try one of those like that, Betty. That sounds pretty. Um, and I thought I would show y'all, in case you didn't know, how to stem these, because I, I even studied that. Yeah, right here, there's a, um, let me show you. At the base, where it's tied together, um, it's kind of a bundle. I don't know what else to call it. A little knot. So just drop a drop of oil, uh, essential oil, right there, and let it just soak through the flower like that let gravity do its thing and uh, pull that scent down through the whole flower it's supposed to smell pretty Ooh. that's why i wore a dark shirt today <laughs> oh robin everything i read said um two to one now did i measure i did not i know that the more acrylic paint you add or the more of this dye that you add the more vibrant 
your color will be. Um, and I prefer that it does not be just really, really bright, personally. So I kind of just poured some. <laughs> I didn't measure my water. I did use hot water that's pro that had probably cooled to what I would call lukewarm now um, because it's supposed to help uh, with the color. It, if you want a lighter color, you go with the cooler water and darker color hot water. I have more than I don't, Penny. Have I tried what is that, Tarita? Um, I'm having a good day, Carol. I hope you are too. Right, Betty. Yeah. If if I found out that if I felt that this was getting these just too dark for me, just add more water to it. Now this I don't know, uh, Betty. You you know a lot about these solar flowers. So tell me this. This mixture I've made. Could I put it in an airtight container and save it? And reuse it or is this just a done deal oh Tarita I have not tried the oil on mine yet um, but I can I've got essential oils right here we can try that today too I would love to I just found out about it or I would have done it already now I'm just again I'm just kind of manipulating this this uh, flower this bloom while it's wet, pulling it apart a little bit so that some of this color, I, I do like it being two-toned where you still see the natural, but I'm just playing today. So I'm gonna pull this apart and dip a little bit more. Hey, Trish, that's okay. That is okay. Trish is in the house, y'all. Y'all see her new bracelets and oh she's got she has been working. That woman's been busy. Okay. There's that one. Pretty pretty. See how you can still see some of that natural down in there? Just a little bit. I like that. Okay. This is the last one. Mine too, Susan. I love it. This is a little rose. So let's just do this little rose. And that'll be five of this color. And we'll move on and try another color. So if you missed the beginning, I put mostly the Sola Aqua dye. And thanks to Betty Smarts, I put a little bit of my basil in there to give it a more teal hue than blue. Save it and try. Okay. I'll do that, Mayor. Why not? I'll, and I'll report back to y'all if it works. I just, I'm so practical and I hate to waste anything. Um, so I'm thinking, I can't pour this out. All this pretty dye that could be, you know, used over again. And it may not work, but we'll try it. Hey, Tanya. Oh, good. You're off work today, so you're getting to just relax, hopefully. Yeah, today's a good day. I've been, I've been painting. Yesterday was an awesome day. I will confess that I stayed in my pajamas all day long and painted and painted and painted and I had a wonderful time. I spent mm, a couple hours painting today. Just label it so you know what you've got. Yeah. Have you ever done that, Betty? Uh, have you ever saved it and um, use it for later? Thank you, Judy. I was trying to think of everybody. You know, what, what are popular colors? What colors would most people seem to gravitate towards? I went toward the butterscotch because we're almost, you know, we're starting to decorate or think about uh, crafting for fall. So, I went on and got the butterscotch. Besides, I love that color. Look at that. Oh, that's a pretty little rose. You've saved acrylics that way too? Okay. Hey, Jeannie. Thank you. We've got five pretty 
teal flowers going over here. Now, let's scooch the teal to the side. Okay, y'all, what color should I do next? Y'all want to throw out, uh, uh, tell me what you might like. I need more paper towels. What should I do next? Betty, I think that's great. That's how we learn. I'm going to wait. Did you get the dye for solar flowers or paint water down? Tanya, I actually um, did the paint water down the other day. And we're doing the actual solo wood uh, flower dye today because I wanted to try it for y'all. If I'm going to uh, give you um, a suggestion and a link and all that, I want to try it for myself too. Coral it is then. I like that. Okay. Now this is a smaller bowl. So let's just see. Let's try that much. Yeah, we'll do butterscotch next. How about that? Oh, uh, no, I love that that teal color, too. In, in clothes, in um, home decor. This still has a little bit of that teal on it. Yeah, it's just a dye. It's thinner, uh, much thinner, not much thinner, but thinner than acrylic. Um, but from what from what I watched today, because I, I was trying to do my homework for y'all, um, the acrylic is a little harder to mix. You can mix it with... Whoop, What's my problem today? You can mix it with a fork, but it, you've got to kind of work to keep it mixed up because it will um, kind of settle on the bottom. Okay, we're going light to begin with and uh, save it in glass jars. Oh, Nisi, I'm so glad to know that. Mostly aqua teal and some red. Um, mm -hmm. I am trying to branch out a little bit with my colors um so my house is very the main pieces are really neutral and so that i can change colors as much as i want to with a throw pillow or with art or you know what i'm talking about but i absolutely have teal in my house hey cindy that's okay channeling g <laughs> Okay, let's just pull some, some, some of these that I've already uh, softened again. I'm trying to find different uh, blooms, different types. I want to try some of these with the natural wood on it with the, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Robin. <laughs> with the uh, green, the basil color. I think that'll be really pretty. Here's a good one. We don't have one of those out. All right. You know what? I want to do... Uh, no. I'm going to say I've got a bigger bowl for the bigger um, blooms. All right. Let's try this one. I am too penny. And like I told y'all, um... Hey Robin, um, I'm dying to get the succulents. I need to watch and see you know, if they've come, if they've got any in. That's okay, Cindy. That's all right. Yeah, see, I think I'm gonna have to add a little bit more of the dye because this is very, very light. seeing what Mr. Tater Buggins doing out there. <laughs> no, Robin, I did too. I could not breathe. Y'all's comments were what made it so funny to me. Oh my word. That was hilarious. I still haven't gone back to watch 
Uh, oh, again, I, I, I need to do that. Yeah, Betty, I think I'm going to add some more dye. I just want to see what a few more dips does. Now, it's interesting. I'm, I'm kind of liking this one. I may add more dye and do it, dip a different flower, but I'm going to show you all this. It's very, very light, but look how it did in the center. I kind of like that. What do y'all think? Hey, Michelle. Hey, Janice. You can do that, Rose. I just already had um, dipped these in the glycerin water mixture for y'all the other day, and they had dried, so I thought I would just do the dye today, but you can. Yeah, that's really, really delicate, and I, it's uh, that's a pretty color. I'm going to leave this one like that. We're going to add a little bit more dye. I just think that's really pretty. Very soft. I'll definitely be using that somewhere around my house. I can't wait to show you what I'm about to, to redo. All right, let's put some more. I think so too. I really like that. We're, I'm not gonna go overboard because I do like that color. I'm just gonna add about that much more and we'll see if that makes any kind of difference. We're gonna find out, Robin. I don't, I don't think they dry darker, do they, Betty? Or anybody that that uses these. Oh, Dee, me too, Nisi. I feel the same way. My dad just got here this morning, Michelle. I was so excited because you know I had something else planned, but I really wanted to do this. I was gonna. I knew that as soon as the dyes came in, I was gonna play with the dyes with y'all. Okay, let's take this pretty little flower here and dip it. Hey, Robin. Oh, thanks for the hearts, y'all. Oh, Betty hadn't done the dye yet. Okay, so you just done the acrylics. Um, normally, I probably would have just stuck with the acrylics myself because, I mean, <laughs> you see how many I've got? But I just want to, I want to experiment, and uh, part of what I want to do on my page, whether I've said this or not before, is um, kind of product testing things for y'all, so you don't have to, and I can come back to y'all with my opinion, or I can do them with y'all, and it brought, you know, obviously it's going to mostly be about crafting, but it's also going to be about things that, uh, that I really like. You know, like when Gerald cooks and we showed you the some of the tools that he uses that we really, really like. Because we're not, I mean, there's a lot more to us than just crafting, right? You know, we got big old lives that are, are full of all kinds of things. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Now I've pulled it apart, so I'm going to dip it again. What, what's going on with them, Penny? Do I need to get after somebody? You think so, Trish? I hope so. These are really so pretty. I, I'll be honest, y'all. I love them. Um, I love them natural. I could definitely just do um, the natural color. Maybe sneak in a little uh, gray in there too. But I wanted to have some colors. I want to do some bouquets of them. I love that. I love that color. That is really, really pretty. Now let me bring it up. Oh, why are they doing that to you, Penny? It was your mama's favorite color, Susan. Oh, I love it. Um, who said that? Nisi, if you look in the description of this video, I have the link to the Solo Wood Flowers. Uh, I think Artis is still here. She and uh, Julie Shaver sent me Solo Wood Flowers because I had never tried them and I had mentioned something about them on a live where I was playing with one that came from the Dollar Tree actually. And they were telling me about them and I said, I've never heard of them. So they sent me a box of, both of them sent me some. 
<laughs> well, I fell in love so much. I got my own link, and I'm trying all the things Sola Flowers. Yes, Kat, we did those the other day. We actually did those um, on a live last week. I, oh, yes, Joyce. Beautiful color for bridesmaids. This is a rose. This is a little different rose than the last one I did. Yeah, I hadn't dipped one of these yet. This will be pretty, I think, in this color. Yeah, I'm loving this coral. I'm just going to leave that in just a little. Thank you, Betty. What do you do with them? Oh, so much. There's Lee. The turquoise valentine is in the house. Hey, Lee. Um, you can do all kinds of things with these. Um, what I did, uh, one of the first projects I did with them was I uh, had an old frame. Very old frame that had just been in my stash. And it had a torn canvas in it. So we took the canvas out and put chicken wire in the middle and then I floated my sola flowers all the way down from one corner of the frame through the chicken wire down to the bottom. It ended up being one of my very favorite things I've ever done. I dry brushed, uh, I mean I chalk painted and distressed the frame and let the wood, old wood show through. You need to go back and watch that video. That was a fun one, I loved it. And somebody asked, yes, um, I was just talking with the ladies on here that know more about these flowers than me. They did save this leftover uh, mixture in an airtight container and reused it. Whether you mix it with um, acrylic paint and water or the Sola dies. So I'm really glad to know that. That's definitely what I'll do. Look how beautiful that turned out. I don't want to, I don't want to, it's not Beverly, it's water, it's warm water. And let me show you, uh, where's the bottle? It's a Sola wood dye. You can also use acrylic paint, uh, regular craft paint with water which I did the other day, but I wanted to try these dyes for you so you could see if there's any difference, um, if it's something that you want to try. They were 60% 60, uh, 60 off when I ordered. I don't know. I have to look and see if they're still on sale. 60% off in this four ounces. They come in, I think it's two ounce bottles and four ounce bottles. This was $4. So I thought it was worth springing for several colors, um, just so I could show y'all. Hey, Marie. Michelle, it's one of my favorite things uh, that I've done, and I, I just, I love it so much. So that comes out almost, it looks like um, those peachy roses that I love. So you're at this point. I just remembered a rose that my grandmother had that I thought was so beautiful. I would let this dry and then go in with my, this is the perfect example, banana cream and a little bit of water on my paintbrush and maybe put a little bit of that yellow down in the middle. You've seen those roses, right? That are peachy color with the, um, Thank you, Sarah, with the yellow in the middle. I think that would be gorgeous. Really beautiful. But you see how you can still see the natural in there too? I love that. I really think that's pretty. All right. Now let's try one of these. I don't, have I done one? No, I haven't done one of these yet that look kind of like a poppy. You remember, let me show you. The other day when we were just, uh, I was using my acrylic paint and a little bit of water. I hand painted this poppy and that's how that one turned out. That's acrylic paint. So, hello, sir. Hello. You've been out mowing the grass. Your poor face is all blotchy, baby. What? He's got the, he's been out working hard. <laughs> How's everybody today? Hey, Lisa. We're having a good time playing in these dyes. Oh, seeing yeah. what they're going to do. Yes. Oh, 
Okay. Don't you think, Robin? I think so, too. So, what did y'all think of my um, funky flower paintings that I did yesterday? I did that fall flower arrangement in a pumpkin and did the... I know. I tried to tell him, Trish. I said, why do you wait till the hottest part of the day to mow the grass? Robbie, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. You can get a gazillion craft pro projects out of them. I have a just a wood box um, that I got a couple of years ago. I had made an I think I made a Christmas arrangement in it uh, this past year, but I want to. I'm gonna stem these and make a solo wood flower arrangement. Thank you, Linda. I had so much fun with those that today I'm working on a rooster in that same technique. It's been a long time since I painted a rooster and I'm using all the colors and just having so much fun. So I'm hoping somebody else likes it too. We'll see, I'll post it tonight. Hey, Wendy. So there's that bloom. Look how pretty that is. With these, they're so porous that you can actually watch, if you're using the paint and water technique, you can watch it soak into the petals. It's really cool to watch. So, um, like I was saying before, for any of you that are just hopping on, you can add a drop of essential oil to the base of your flower and set it like that and let it um, soak into all the petals and you'll also have a scented arrangement which is lovely uh, Robbie the link is in the description of this video it's also pinned to the top of my uh, tater bug and Facebook page um, thank you there's Betty to the rescue thank you so much now this is the last one we're gonna do in coral and then we're gonna move on and we're gonna try the butterscotch let's try that next since we're starting to think about uh, fall decorating. Um, when you're ready to stem them, in fact, I, I cranked up the, the hot glue gun in case we decide to do some. Uh, it's really easy, really easy to do that. And that way, then if you want to wire the flowers to something, or if you want to just use them like picks, you know, to do an arrangement, but I ordered the 100 assorted set because I just wanted, you know, I'm trying everything. They've got succulents uh, that were sold out. So I, I was going to order some, but they were sold out. So I'm going to be watching for those. Um, but there's all different kinds. I just wanted the natural assortment. I wanted some to, to um, so some to have that. I want to call it a live edge on it, but I don't think you call it that. It's almost like bark on the edge. Oh, it would, Brenda. Yeah, you're right. Did I blip again? Did I freeze? I don't know. Am I here? Um, Marie? Uh, Amory is just, she's doing fine. She's, um, she's healing well, um, but she, they're, they're working on that big garden. They have a garden this year that is unbelievably huge. Um, so it's been a lot of work. She's in recovery mode, of course, from her knee surgery. Opa I've been keeping in touch with her every day, although I have not heard from her today. So I need to check. Oh, Betty, have you talked to Opa today? Has it really, Brenda? I have, I, like I said, I've been painting and I haven't been able to watch my buddies today. Ugh, don't like the glitches. Okay, there's the fifth coral. Loving it. I'm really loving it. I'm going to show y'all my. Let me show you these. 
is. That I've done so far. Here, if you're just hopping on, here's what we have so far. We've done our aqua and we've done the coral. Now we're gonna try uh, the butterscotch. Thank you, Lee. Okay, Let's swap out. Now I've got a big old bowl for this one and I'm gonna do some of the larger uh, blooms. Okay, here's the butterscotch. We're gonna try this. Thank you, Marie. I think they're really turning out pretty. I wanna go a little bit heavier on this color. I would like this to be a little bit more vibrant, you know, look more like this color for fall. It does, doesn't it, Jeannie? Oh, that is a beautiful color. Can you all see that? Oh, I love that color. Again, I wanted to sneak a, a fall color in um, because just thinking ahead, just thinking ahead. Oh, I didn't. I didn't, Betty. I missed it. She was hurting because <gasps> she, oh my goodness, oh, all day today, y'all. Um, I hate that. I, I hope the doctor can get her some pain meds. That's, that's scary. Eva, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. We do a little bit of everything here. I hope you'll take a look. Her nose is itching. I hope you'll take a look around and uh, see if you like what we do. And maybe give us a follow. Okay. See this big old bloom? Oh, let's try that one. I'm not going to do a whole bunch uh, in in this because I want to show you what I'm going to work on. Uh, let's try one of these. Um what I'm going to work on with my flowers for my house. Oh, Jeannie, that's a good question. I don't know. I do not know. It, it, I would say it wouldn't hurt to try. Can you, um, wait, let me go back. I don't want to miss questions. Can you tip just the edges and have it bleeding in? Yes. If you want to do that, I would probably suggest doing the acrylic paint method. I did that one day last week. Y'all help me out. I don't remember if it was Tuesday or Thursday last week that we painted the flowers. Um, you could so easily uh, just wet your paintbrush and dip it in your acrylic paint and just run it along the edges and you will watch it bleed in uh, to these porous flower petals. It's very pretty. So you absolutely could do that. I also um, took the acrylic paint, uh, you know, again, dipped my paintbrush in water and I went down deep into the petal and just straight acrylic paint and then pulled it out with water and so it would be a real deep color on the inside and then kind of fade um, lighter toward the outside that was really pretty too it was tuesday okay yeah y'all can go back and uh watch how i did the paint technique with these on tuesday on replay Okay, I'm just gently, if y'all didn't see, isn't it pretty, Trish? It's, it is like a butternut squash, and it's, it's, I think because I'm touching the bottom of the bowl with the flower, let me show you, the edges 
are darker. And I love that. Isn't that beautiful? Look how pretty that is. I'm holding this underneath it because it's drippy and I've got my laptop down there, so. All right, I'm gonna do one more dip on this now that I've pulled it apart. Look how gorgeous that bloom looks now. Ah, thank you, Michelle. Yes, you do need to soften them, Sarah, um, kind of to preserve them so they won't get brittle over time. Uh, and so we did that live. I did that with y'all live. Uh, that may have been the same day I painted them. Oh, I told you. Did. Why is it? Oh, that's okay, Tiffany. I'm glad you're here. Um, my nose itches when I have gloves on. How about y'all? <laughs> but you're going to want to use, uh, I've got in my Amazon store link, uh, you know, where I share all the things that I've tried from Amazon with y'all. It's it's also pinned to the top of the Tater Bugging page. All my links are there for everything in one place. Um, you'll find the glycerin that I used the other day. And so these flowers that I'm dipping today have been treated, you know, they've been dipped in the glycerin water mixture and dried. And you can also add the glycerin to your dye mixture. I just didn't have the dyes that day. And do it all in one dip. So I could have, oh, I'm so sorry y'all, my nose itches. How about that? So, I also ordered the Sola Wood Softener uh, so that I can try that as well. Because again, like I said, if I'm going to have a link, I want to try the things for y'all as much as I can. Um, but I, it, theirs is as inexpensive, you know, it, well, I got it that way on sale. I just ordered while it was on sale and it wasn't expensive at all. So I'm just manipulating these petals here to, to so it'll dry, like kind of opened up. But how gorgeous is that? I just love it. Yeah, you can do it all in one step. Yes, the picture with the paintbrushes. Oh, we, I love that one. Oh my goodness. Let's dip this rose and then I'm gonna show y'all. We're gonna stop for a minute. Uh, it's best, Robbie, to do that. Um, it's easy, you're just dipping them for three seconds and pulling them out and putting them on a uh, cookie sheet with some paper towels. At this time of year, it's so easy because you can just set them outside. Mine dried within the hour. I'm a manipulator. You a hush, Trish. <laughs> Y'all, if you don't know, she's my best friend since we were 13 and we give each other a bad time all the time. We make fun. All lighthearted and have a great time. <laughs> but she makes me laugh. Okay. So, we've gone over the dyeing process. We know that we can add a drop of essential oils to the base. Yes, I do. I disturb denim all up, too. So, oh, y'all be careful hanging out with me. You might get a reputation. <laughs> But if you don't soften your flowers over time because of the what they're made of, you know, they're a wood derivative, um, they're going to get brittle and they'll, they might crack or crumble and you don't want that. So it just uh, keeps them soft. How pretty is that? Look at that. We also, um, talking about these, I'm going to show you, I'm going to stop here. I'll be dipping flowers for another hour after I get off of here. Because this is too much fun. Here's what we have so far. Look how beautiful. But see, I haven't even gotten to the basil and the gray. Yeah, because I got five of these and a softener. We've, we've still got these two. This is actually, this one's called concrete, not gray, but it's gray. Um, so go to Hobby Lobby, and I got these in the floral section, just floral wire. 
All you're going to need to do is put a blob of, I got to get these off my hand, y'all. I think so too, Charlotte. I really love them. Do you think so, Brenda? Maybe so. Everything I read said glycerin, uh, which is very inexpensive. It's just a vegetable glycerin. Uh, and I ordered it on Amazon. I think somebody said you can get it at, uh, what is it, Trader Joe's or Whole Foods? I can't remember which. So, to, let me grab another one here. To stem these, hot glue at the base and take your floral, wi floral wire. That's hard to say. Hey, Metra, how you doing, my sweet, sweet friend? I'm going to be doing all the colors, Kathy. I, yeah, I want to do, um, I'm dying to try the gray and the basil, too. But you're going to take that floral wire and just stick it into the base of the flower down here. And let that glue harden around it, around the floral wire. And then you've got it stemmed. You can cut it um, for bouquets, whatever. I will say that, um, oh, thanks, Lee. Um Sola on their website, they also have fillers. You don't have to use theirs, but you can fill with moss. You can fill with your greenery that you have in your stash, but they do offer some. So, um, there's that, there's that little tip. Now, let me show you this before I'm, cause see, I'm at an hour. That hour is the, you know, when you hit that live button, the hour goes by so fast cause I love just spending it with my friends. Let me show you this. My sweet friend that I told you about had to clean her mama's house out. We lost her mama recently. And um, she brought me a bunch of goodies from her house. And this was one of them. It hung in her house for the longest time. Um, but because the, I don't, I don't uh, have much red in my house, if any, I'm going to take this floral off. I'm going to save this beautiful floral. I'm going to definitely reuse that. I'll reuse these too. These leaves um, probably would make great sunflowers like I showed you on Sunday. Hey, Teresa. He is cooking on uh, Friday, I believe. I'm pretty sure. And y'all, in case I didn't get I'm getting this haircut tomorrow. Cut. We're going short again, and it has gone crazy. That's what I'm going to do, Betty. I, so I'm going to deconstruct this part. I'm going to whitewash the frame. I'm going to, well, I'll probably chalk paint actually this wood, but distress it because I want this beautiful wood to show through. And then I'm going to use the same technique on this um, and then really distress across the top so it shows through. Thank you, Sherry. I'm glad y'all liked them. That was, that was off the top of my head. I had fun with that. So this will be another way of doing that same craft I did before with them. Uh, and this is going to hang in my, somewhere in my house. Oh, okay, Metra. Thanks for popping in. This is, the mesh is already here, so we don't have to we don't have to put chicken wire in this one. It's, I knew when she brought it over and showed it to me. I said, Joyce, I know exactly what I'm doing with this. And it's going to be mine. And I'm going to know it hung in your sweet mama's house for years. And that's going to make it that much more special. She brought me so many treasures that I'm going to, uh, I'm either just using as is that I will show you all the pictures of once I get everything situated. Um, and some I'm going to tweak to fit my decor and so I'm going to take y'all along on that ride. Did you Janet? I'm glad you're here. I just think this frame is so pretty. Um, the, the floral is pretty too. It's just not what I have in my house. So we're going to lighten this up. I'm going to, this will be um, probably dry brushed. I don't want to completely cover it. Uh, so it'll be all distressed and then I'm going to take the natural solar flowers and we're going to start I'll probably put some gray, maybe even a little, I'll see what the green looks like, but I want it really natural. And just do like I did and make it flow down to this other opposite corner. Yes, it'll be, a, I mean, when I say they're treasures, because my friend Rebecca had them in her house 
they are treasures and she had beautiful things she loved antiques um, we are gonna have just some very very special things um, thanks to Joyce uh, and her generous gift to me there will even be a couple of uh, wood Christmas projects that her sweet daddy actually designed and they've um, they've given us the patterns that he made to create with and so those are gonna be in the shop closer to Christmas but I can't wait to show y'all those so that she's a special dear dear friend of mine and her mom was too um, they were my ugly elves. They were part of my ugly elves. If y'all looked up the ugly elf story that I told y'all the other day. This is messy, y'all. So, I think it'll be fine on your hands. But I wore the gloves and I didn't want to cross the colors. But thanks for being here with me today while we, while we experimented and played with these great Sola Wood dyes. If you're interested in the flowers, like I said, the link's in the description. The link's also at the top of my tater bugging page um, and I'll be back on Thursday to do something hopefully it'll be just a lot of fun okay <laughs> did y'all have any other questions before I scoot Linda please do we had a good time uh, just I, I just wanted to um, show y'all how these worked I, you know y'all had asked me to try some of the solo wood flower techniques and I'm more than thrilled to do that for y'all. Uh, paint classes, yes. Uh, for any of you who are new and don't know, I do monthly paint classes that you can pick and choose whichever you're interested in and they're always available. If you go to taterbuggin.myshopify.com and click art classes, you'll see all of them. I've been doing them since last November. They're all still available, all ready for you. How cold is the coffee now? It was cold to begin with. It had ice in it. Let me see. Ooh. It's good. <laughs> oh, Robin, I'm so excited to do it. And if you didn't see um, the other frame that I did, please go back and look into my replays. It'll be in my videos. It was a beautiful frame that I just had in my stash that I think my sister in love had found for me. But the old painting that was in it, I'll, I'll show you a before and after, had been ripped. So we took the, the canvas out and I just redid it with the solo wood flowers. Uh, Janet, I know, I think, honestly, I think I found this at Target, a, you know, a couple of years ago. If not, it may have been online. Uh, my son may have ordered it for me online. I'm not sure. Our group is Tater Buggin Sweet Tater Bugs. We just have a great time um, sharing what we are creating. You can talk about your grandbabies, prayer requests. It's it's a group for y'all. Um, whatever you want to share is fine with me there as long as everybody's nice and they are. It's a great, it's, if you're not a part of that group, go there. They're, they're doing amazing, wonderful things. And I don't mean with, uh, with crafting. Yes, they do that, but they're giving they're loving um you want some support you need some friendship that's a great place to go thank y'all thank you thank you um yeah check it all out and you know if you're new and uh like what we do we'd love for you to give us a follow and tell your friends oh tarita i love you that's so sweet of you to say thank you thank you that's that's how i feel about y'all so I get to hang out with y'all now that he's cooking too, four times a week. And I don't like to miss it because it, it you know, I, this feeds my soul. Y'all feed my soul. I love y'all to pieces. So I think the Simple Treasures Crafters ladies should have started again at five. I, I haven't gotten to see the schedule today. I'm so out of the loop. So y'all go enjoy those. Another week of Christmas in July and all of our other crafting buddies, okay? Y'all have a great evening. Love you, and I will see you Thursday at 4 Central.